this is Milana Mil and welcome to another speed paint video. Or if you are new then I'm glad you you found your way here and I hope you enjoy. So the deal is gonna be same as the last as the last time, so I'm just I try to comment on what I do but otherwise I'm just gonna ramble and since I'm drawing a Lucy from Fairy Tale this time I thought that we could talk about Fairy Tale a little bit. Uh a warning before we go, I have read I have read all the chapters and I have watched all the episodes, so <laughs> I will probably spoil some things. So if you haven't seen a fairy tale and you want to see a fairy tale and you don't want to be spoiled, there's two things you can do. You can either mute this video or you can choose not to watch this video. Actually, just mute this video because I need to be used, okay? <laughs> also, if you like what you see, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, leave a comment because it really helps me out and then I can make more for you guys. <laughs> so right now I'm doing a sketch as you saw a little bit a little bit back. Uh at first I just, you know, was trying out different things and I'm actually like sketching it out. I try to respect the original body type that Mashima gave uh to Lucy, besides I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm trying my best to mimic it out. I also think that Mashima has improved greatly with his work. Like you don't usually see uh manga artists do or like improve as much, but he has done like a huge improvement and I personally think that that now that he has found his own style, like not just a drawing style but the way he wants to tell a story, paneling, you know, dialogue, everything. I think that his work has just became uh, better and better. Like in the past, it's short. It used to kind of be uh, like a One Piece. I think he admitted that he took inspiration from One Piece at some point. But I think that the style used to be pretty obvious uh, copy, if you could say so. But now he has definitely found his calling. And personally, I think that his art style nowadays is really gorgeous. And especially, like. The anatomy is probably the biggest thing that he has improved, and I think that the leap, the leap from the anatomy that he used to do to what he does now is actually really impressive. Like his bodies and you know figures have become so much more natural than ever before. So you know, I I really gotta respect the guy for that. Also, now I'm doing an outfit for her. I really liked uh, her celestial outfit that she had in the Magic Crown Games arc or Eclipse arc, whatever you want to call it. And I also really liked her new Star Trek design, so I kind of mixed them together and then added a little bit of my own touch here and there. Basically, just something new, something old, something borrowed, something original, and not so much blue. And you get the results. <laughs> On the more serious note, though, Mashima really needs to make Lucy and Natsu canon. Like, holy hell. Like, please, it's it's not just hints anymore. No, 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 no. If you have read the recent chapters, it's downright teasing. It's ship teasing. Those two are, they're acting like a couple. Everyone else thinks they're acting like a couple. And they are still not canon. Why? 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 Tell me why. Why? I want to know. <laughs> but I'm really excited because... It finally seems like they are closer to becoming a canon because it's not just hints anymore. It's not people wondering, well, do they like each other? Because now it's pretty damn obvious that they do, in fact, like each other. And personally, me and probably many, many other Fairytale fans have probably waited for this to happen. Also, I, I love how in recent chapters it makes it so obvious, like. The Krubia pairing is really growing, and so is the so is the Nalu pairing. Uh, Gachi, Gajilu, Gajil, X Levi pretty much just became a canon, so they they are pretty much a canon already because they confessed. But 
Juvia and Cray and Natsu and Lucy are still ready to go. And of course, it's gonna be Lucy and Natsu who become cano canon the last. Of course, it's gonna be. So, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of skin here. I was really worried how it was gonna turn out because uh, this is the first time I have done skin on like one layer with colors. Like, I've done a couple of grayscale, but it's it's a lot harder with colors because when you're doing grayscale, all you, all you ever need to worry about is a contrast, basically, or value. But when you're doing with colors, you have to think of color combination, you know, saturation, uh, values, everything, and it's just like, how am I supposed to pull this off? So I was kind of nervous, but it actually turned out uh, to be really good. At least comparing it to the fact that normally I would do things over and over again till I'm satisfied. I was also a little scared of doing the eyes as you can see because normally I use a lot of layers but here I just went on with it. But I actually really liked uh, how they turned out because I kind of wanted to make them this uh, soft kind of brown and I was really happy when it actually... Uh, turned out that way <laughs> so they weren't like too they stand out but they don't kind of destroy the picture which I'm personally really satisfied with <laughs> the eyes has already uh, like already always been sort of trouble for me I don't know it's just kind of hard to make them uh, as one with the picture instead of like instead of having them stand out too much or like be overly saturated and here I'm <laughs> starting to do the outfit I was I was kind of playing around at first you know just seeing what I can do and lapping just colors over each other and then like later on I would uh, begin to actually paint <laughs> paint the outfit itself this is the first time I've actually because I don't like, I've done a few crazy scale practices, but they have been mostly face, so this is the first time I've done, like, uh, outfit in one layer, so <laughs> it was a little bit of a, of a hassle at first, you know, I was just putting colors here and there, seeing how it turned out, and then later on I would actually start to, like, mold the shape, <laughs> so at first... Uh, at this point it's kind of just like blobs of colors here and there that doesn't make any sense but like at this point I'm already kind of starting to um, mold the shape at first I was thinking that the outfit uh, was too flashy so I actually designed it like I designed a couple of other outfits they were pretty similar to the one that is in here but uh, I don't know those outfits were a little bit too dull so I was like well I'm just gonna go with this and it actually turned out to bring a nice balance uh, to the picture overall so it didn't turn out to be as flashy as I was afraid that it would and it was really it was really fun to do as well like with all the little, uh, those silver thingies, <laughs> what would you really call them? Um, it was really nice to give all the little details and just try things out. I especially like, uh, in her celestial outfit that she has, I really liked fur part, or what those are, feathers, so I really wanted to reuse them reuse them at my work and <laughs> I think that they brought a really nice contrast to it. There uh, you can see I I had done a fast uh, sort of hair, you cannot really call it a hair, it's, it's more like just blobs of colors that I just put there and was like okay that will do. It was kind of easier uh, when there was something to see what kind of colors I wanted the rest of the picture to have. I also fixed the nose at this point, like in between uh, <laughs> these frames, but you don't really see it. I mean, I did record it, but 
I usually like to zoom in and out a lot in my pictures because I like to see what the picture looks as a whole and what it looks like when I zoom in. So <laughs> when I sp when I speeded it up, it just turned out to be zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, and you couldn't really tell what the hell was going on. So I just left it out. It was uh, <laughs> it was kind of minor change anyway. I just mostly blended it in a little bit better. Better to <laughs> not make it stand out too much. I kind of felt like it was a little bit crude, so I I sure to fix it. Fix it to make it look better and <laughs> now I'm doing the hair. I actually um uh, I just decided to use the pre-shape that I already have. At first I kind of ma made it a little bit too uh, dark, as you can see it's kind of it's kind of dark, but I actually really like uh, like to do the hair on the one layer, because as you can see I'm just painting at one layer, usually I use many layers, but it's so much easier with one layer, because you can just like paint over, because I noticed that the, like at this point the, her the hair turned out to be a little too dark in my opinion, kind of like this moldy brown, so I just add, added more, more like this light yellow color to make the hair a bit more shiny and more this kind of uh, nice blonde, <laughs> nice blonde shade that she has. I actually really love her hair color because it's it's like this, uh, it's blonde, but it's kind of like, it has this golden, uh, golden kind of touch to it, so it's like really, really pale yellow blonde, but it's, also it doesn't like, it doesn't look too yellow or it doesn't look too gray, it kind of looks a bit uh, yellow in the original anime. But in the 2014 version, they fixed it up, and Mashima himself has improved with the coloring a lot. If you have seen his work, so I really think that he he's uh, done a great work to bring out uh, the hair color that she has. It's like personally, I actually feel that lighter hair, like light hair and really dark hair, are actually really hard to do because you have to see, be so like careful with the contrast that you use to not to make it too black or not to make it too white and here I'm actually doing the keys as you can see the little picture popping up I have uh, the pictures of the keys there they were really fun to do actually like I changed I changed uh, the design a little bit like it's not exactly to the T like only <laughs> only minor things but but I kind of like to add my own little touch to them like not to make them you know to <laughs> like well I'm I've never really been the type of person who likes to uh, make everything look exactly like the original I personally feel like having your own touch there is the best thing to do but not everyone's going to agree with me and here I'm doing the background, which is gonna be a final touch, and then this picture will be ready. Finally! <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video, and I actually didn't end up spoiling as much as I thought that I would. Here's the final picture, and if you like it, please leave a comment below, and bye bye!